have a forfeit at 157. As Jack Neese, who won earlier today via a fall, will go to 2-0 and today on his senior day with the win at 157. Thought he was done being in those upper weights. <laughs> right. <laughs> he's kind of bounced around in weight class this year. But now we go up to 165, Caleb Valdez Lemos, as he'll take on Ryan Zimmerman. Zimmerman also a winner earlier today in a match that he wrestled. So he'll look for 2 0, but to do it without a forfeit. Yeah, I was talking with him after the match, his last match against Queens, and we were, he brought up the position I was talking about, you know, being in that bad position and let, with, with his leg in. And, um, you know, we were kind of talking strategy back and forth, and, you know, he's saying the, the Queens wrestler was putting him out of position and was going the – and, and we kind of noticed it going the opposite way of what you would normally go. Mm -hmm. So it was throwing him off big time when he was out there and just couldn't quite make the admit, end match adjustment. Sure. Valdez Lemos and on a single leg trying to pop his head out there to get the takedown, but Zim Zimmerman just being stingy and but wrestling through position, Valdez Lemos getting that three. Zimmerman trying to get out quick. End up there close. And Zimmerman gets no change yet. Looked really close to a reversal there, but now Zerman on his own, essentially leg attack, and Valdez Lemos wrestling hard through the position, trying not to give up this reversal. There it is. Yeah, so we'll see if Zerman kind of makes an adjustment from that first match on that leg ride and um, you know, makes it a little more effective. A little high in his position right there, trying to readjust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's getting in a little bit better now. Got that right or that left leg kind of slipped out, but now he's finding a half Nelson, trying to crunch him up. Valdez Lemos doing a good job of fighting off. Zerman up around that head. Trying to get for a turn, but not really a lot of leverage there now. Yeah, and that's what it is. And that, and that's what it is. And he's still like he's just a little bit high, but now might be able to catch it here. You know, as you can see, there's a lot of space in between his hips and uh, Valdez's hips, and when there's not that pressure there, um, and there's that space, it gives opportunity for the guy on bottom to to continue to roll through. Right now, a 3-2 lead for Caleb Valdez Lemos, the freshman out of Denver, Colorado. Yeah, so again, he's just a, he's, he's right there, Zimmerman on, on that leg ride, but just his timing on catching him and um, on his back there as he goes to roll uh, is just off by just a hair. Five seconds to go. You're in the period. And that will take us to the second. Yeah, Valdez Lemos chooses neutral here. Um, probably feels he's got that first takedown fairly easily and just look to get back to that. I think that was a lefty high crotch. As Lemos pinned earlier by Evan Mag of George Mason. Oh, nice little shock there by Zerman. See if he's able to get his hips on top, and he does. That was slick. Felt that real, felt that pressure from Valdez Lemos and kind of just stepped aside and able to slip that hip. Are you up 24 6 in our team score? So this here, this is where you want to be kind of almost thrusting your hips in and raking that face, head, 
back and you know making it really uncomfortable. You control, as I said in the last patch, you can control the hips, you control the body. You control the head, you also control the rest of the body. So you control those two points. You can kind of get a guy to go wherever you want. Thurman trying to get something moving. And stalemate call. So bring him back into the center. Thurman out of Long Branch, New Jersey. Good wrestling state. Looking to power a half here, but Valdez Lemos fighting those hips down heavy. It's, you know, it's again, it's that position. You see there, those hips are real high on that back. It's hard to, don't get me wrong, it's hard to get up from there, but it's really hard to turn when your hips are that high. In that spot right there, is there enough leverage to really turn him? I mean, not really, because, I mean, you're, you're, he's just kind of wrapped around in his legs area there, and... Again, it's that it's 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 crucial when you're riding legs, you've got to get that hip pressure on their hips, not just on their lower back. Looks like we have a contact issue for Valdez Lemos. At least I think that's what he's looking at, and they're gonna take him over to Yeah, it looks about right. That's that's the universal <laughs> Uh, signal for my contact is out in wrestling. Well, I, I tell you what, he went to put it back in without the solution. That's a better man than I. <laughs> yeah, it's, that can be pretty grody out there after yeah. a day of wrestling. I would say, yeah, wait, give me some solution before I put this bad boy back in here. <laughs> wrestling not for the germaphobes. <laughs> no, not at all. Good sit turn, getting Valdez Lemos caught on his heels there, but unable to put something fully together. So here in the third, definitely not over by any stretch. Zerman has riding time, starting to dwindle down a little bit. Valdez Lemos in a, you know, in a bad position. He's high, and Zimmerman feels that and is trying to shake him off. He's able to do that. He keeps, hopefully, he keeps that low leg turk and starts to elevate that right foot up, cross face really hard. He can find some back points here. Yep, even here, you know, kind of sink those hips in and elevate that foot. He's real close to getting backs. Getting swipes now. Still kind of hanging there. Zerman trying to work towards more. Yeah, now he's got that, uh, he had that ankle, kind of letting it go back. 30 seconds to go in the match. Can Zerman get more? He does have the riding time point coming. to under 10 seconds to go. Not getting new back points here, because didn't let go of the hold, so right now he's really just working for a fall. And that'll do it. So now it will be a major decision as those back points awarded, plus the riding time point. And Ryan Zerman, 2-0 on senior day, as he beats Caleb Valdez Lemos 12-3. Popping up the team score for AU as the 174s and 184s coming up.